Yeah, me. Not sure the section at the moment. Undisclosed location. South Beach. No, well, yeah, South Beach. This is this is not Miami. Nope. This is not. Where we at? People people need to know. Um, <clears throat> especially when you're talking to true Miamians, you know, what I'm saying people that are that are from South Florida, they will tell you the South Beach is not Miami. Miami is on the other side of that bridge, so we're in South Beach right now. But we, but, but it's a wonderful thing. Wow, yeah. man, um, thanks for breaking it down for myself and, you know, other people who need to know, man. And shout out to everybody out here, man. Y'all showed us a lot of love. No we appreciate doubt. it. No uh, I'm influenced. Get them in behind the camera for those who uh, are wondering. Uh, this is Straight Jack, the MC, man. Midwest Monster, the 666 zip code. Kansas in the building, man. Um, mm -hmm. EDP, 1 4th, Missouri slash Missouri, 1 4th, CEO of EDP record label LLC so uh we out here man and um I, I wanted you to tell the people what you just told me man and um just real quick man uh you live hip hop literally yeah, living, living and um you lived it at you got you guys got something called the 11th third we got 11 third can you break that down for the people, man? Eleven third is the uh, actual one one three seven is the address in Topeka, Kansas, that I grew up in <clears throat> for sixteen years, and then I moved out, and then I moved back in several years later, um, and started the group Devious Minds, and it took some time, but that you know eventually. The only thing we had in that house was electricity. And if you, there's a documentary out there on Devious Minds where, you know what I'm saying, it kind of goes into a little more detail. Um, but all we had in the house was electricity. So, you know, in, in, in most people's dining rooms, they have, you know, the dining room table and the chairs. We had a 48 track studio board in there. We had turntables and mixers set up. We had amps and speakers hooked up, and we lived and breathed hip hop. Writing raps, freestyling, you know. Of course, we did at the time, we were young kids, so we spent a lot of time um, partying all night till four or five o'clock in the morning. We'd get four or five hours of sleep, and we'd be up, you know, at 10.30 in the morning, doing it, doing, you know, doing the thing all over again. Somebody would be down running the, the, the turntables, it'd be beats on, and, Mike's, you know, going hot and cats is down there rapping, it, you know, and that's what we did 24-7. Mm. And I think that was, um, matter of fact, I know that was one of the reasons why at that particular time, Devious Minds was an unstoppable force because we lived in Greek. Nobody, nobody was doing it like that. 11-3rd. Yeah, 11-3rd. Wow. So, like, I mean, just like I was explaining to you, uh, Everyone who is 11 third, or who, we, or who is 11 third, it comes from 11 third, and it's not a game. <clears throat> this is just a stamp to remember, you know, a lot of the positive times uh, in your life through hip hop. That when any one of us see 11:37 on a um, on a clock, whether it be AM or PM, we always throw up the 11 third, whether we're by ourselves or with with the rest of the soldiers. Hmm. Man, yo, Devious Minds, man, shout out to everybody, you know, all members, you know, uh, mm -hmm. DVS did rock, man, and uh, opened up and rocked with the best of them and, and, and tore down a lot of tours and did a lot of shows, man, you know, and, and you know, a lot of your, a lot of our favorite MCs like Red Man, you know, Wu-Tang, all of that, do know who Straight Jacket is. You know, they, 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 they've been in the same room, rock the same stages, ciphers, anything, you want to name it, man. They yeah. know the skills, they yeah. know what it they is. They probably wouldn't remember me now. <laughs> but yeah. you know we did do that we did yeah. that yo did man that. yo for all I, I want to speak on behalf you know of all the people out there that, that that has followed your career as an MC as an artist a full well rounded artist that can rap on any beat any time damn near any flow speed like any flow speed you know like crazy <laughs> you know uh, and like 
I think I think you have the fastest turnaround ver for verses like ever. You gotta have a verse back in like minutes. <laughs> Not literally. No, probably like an hour. <laughs> like, like a day. Nope. <laughs> yeah, the end of the day, it really it really yeah. depends because you know, as an artist, you know, and I think I, I speak for every artist out there. Like if you if you hear the beat and that beat is clicking, it's just like man, you can write to it in three minutes, five minutes. It's like the words is just coming to you, like boom, boom, boom. When I'm doing a 16 or even a song, I mean, you, like you can write it, the hook is already here. Like I got the hook memorized and you literally can go in and, you know, and record it as, you know, the turn, you know, turnaround time is what it is. Now, if somebody sends you something and it beats okay, <laughs> you may take a little more time on it. You right, know, right. Kind of, catch a vibe to it and you know catch where you you know where you where you're really trying to go it just depends. and you know what man and I'll, I'll take that and pick it back off it real quick to say listen sending that heat if you want you if you want if you want great 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 classics man mm -hmm. yo shoot shoot for the hottest track you can find man if you want to collab with straight jacket or something man you're definitely going to have a classic Send them in. that's just what we do you know, we make classics, man. And, um, you know, the, the work speaks for itself. EDP, that's what we do. DJ E. Diggs, Straight Jacket, General J. Scholar, and myself, Influence Getter, man. And, uh, you know, we got a new yeah. member as well, G, yeah. Game. And uh, now yeah. we're five brothers, man. We was going by four brothers, you know, on the hashtag. But, uh, yeah, five brothers, man, we doing it. So, uh, big up to everybody, man, and supporting the movement. Much respect, man. Any shout-outs, man? Um, shout-out to every, um, everybody that is that it stuck with me on this incredible journey. I didn't know where this was going. I didn't, I didn't write a rhyme or, or get in this to be uh, famous, to be uh, the most richest person in the world. I just wanted to make music and make people feel good behind me, you know? Um, well, that you do. So I can't complain. Uh, shout out to everybody, you know, right now. I mean, there's, you know, uh, you know what they say, like you, you, you say you have you have a great artist. Well, that great artist didn't become great by themselves. They were special, and that alone is something to be saluted. But there are many people that went into making that person great. That's true. I, throughout my career, have a long laundry list. You know what I'm saying? So we have to do this again, and I got to get that list. And I got to name everybody. True. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not me without them. Hell yeah, man. You know? I, I, I could dig it, man. And I definitely, I definitely be saying the same thing, man. You know, that's why I like to say I love everybody who love me. I support those who support me. That's just what we got to do, man. And um, keep positive people in the circle, man. Absolutely. Yo, we doing nothing but rising, man. We did a lot out here in Miami. We're very happy. Thanks to everybody who's showing us love oh, and I'm showed love, us love. I'm loving Miami. The love was ridiculous. Um, I'm loving Miami. I love my I love Miami. I really do. Which the love, man, is crazy. I can't. But I, I we're gonna wrap it up. But I definitely want to say shout out to Miami. Shout out to Thurston Howard Absolutely. the third. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Low definitely, Life Miami. Shout out, yeah, definitely shout out Low Life Ayak Thurston. We're Art uh, Basil. We yeah, love y'all. Uh, yeah, the whole the whole nine. whole Art Basil With district. That. We love y'all. I've been I've been coming out to Miami. I just want to say this. I've been coming out to Miami since '94. And 2017 is the first time I have ever experienced a, that, that, that particular part of town. Mm. That particular part of town. Of course, I've been all over Miami. Of course, I've been to South Beach. And it was a like eye-opening and enlightening experience. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? I was really lost for words. And I'm you know, considered to be a wordsmith. <laughs> yeah, I could just look. Yeah. I, could just, I had to look and soak everything out. I'd never been there before. Mm -hmm. you know and, and without, without Thurston, and the, you know what I'm saying the low life and I got family, I wouldn't have been able to experience that. So I can say shout out to them for that. That's what's up, you know, man. Absolutely. We got uh 45 to wrap it up, man. Big up to everybody out there. We love your lives, man. Um, real quick, man. I'm just gonna uh try to just say, oh, here we go. Pass this to my brother real quick. So uh, yo, just wanna say shout out to everybody, man. We love your lives. I swear, man, we had the best time, you know, imaginable, man. And we love doing this hip-hop, man. We, go, we got more coming, man. Please stay tuned. Be out here, man. EDP. How y'all? How y'all?